The first question is, how do you pronounce this word? Well, that is phishing. What is phishing? Sometimes called a phishing attack. Well, let's take a scenario. Let's say you are busy working on your computer and all of a sudden you get a message saying you have mail and you open up the email and it's a message from your bank manager saying there's something wrong with your account. If you don't fill in your details soon, there's going to be a problem with you accessing the money in your account. This is urgent, so you better sort it out. So you click on the link and it takes you to a website. Now this looks like your bank. This is First National Bank. It looks legit. There's all your details that you must fill in and it all seems above board. This is fine, right? They want my details. I want to save my account. However, this is actually a fake website. This is the real First National Bank website. There they even tell you about a phishing or scam email that is trying to get people to go to the wrong website, a fake website, to fill in their personal details. Let's compare it side to side. On the left hand we have the fake phishing attack, on the right hand side we have the legitimate FNB website. Next to each other you can see some little keys that could help you. For example, if you look at the web address, the FNB fake website it doesn't look as clear. There's some things that might be a bit suspicious there. Where in the original one, it's www.fnb.co.z. It's a lot more clearer. Also, that icon, if you look at the icon next to the web address, you'll see that it's a legitimate FNB website icon. Where in the fake website, they haven't even got that yet. Very easy to pick up some tips here. However, that's when you compare it next to each other. When you just got the one website, it's very difficult to determine. So, what is a phishing attack? It's when you receive a fraudulent email pretending to be a legitimate company and it's designed to trick you into giving out personal or sensitive information. Maybe they will ask for it directly in the email. Maybe it'll take you to a website where you have to fill that information in. But what type of information are they looking for? Well, it could be your login and password for a website. Maybe your credit card details. Maybe your bank pin. These are things you don't want to give to anyone. Let's look at another example. Here we have the Standard Bank website, and that is actually a phishing attack. That's also a fake website. This is the legitimate one. Again, looking at the URLs, you get some indicators that it could be false, but it is very difficult to do it when you're just looking at the one website. There are lots of different types of phishing attacks. One is smishing. The phishing attack is done using SMS messages, and the links are sometimes in the message on your phone. There's vishing which is phishing over a telephone call where they don't use a computer, but they're just phoning you to find out your details. They're pretending to be your bank over the phone. And then there's spear phishing where they target a particular person, where they give you very specific questions because they've done research on you. So they sound legitimate, but it's because they've done their research. How do we avoid becoming a victim to a phishing attack? Here are some tips. Be very careful of clicking on links in emails. Or rather go directly to the bank's website if you need to go update your details there or contact them to let them know if it's legitimate. Verify if the site is legitimate. Look for indicators like the URL address. If you're not sure, rather just phone the bank or phone the company that's contacting you just to verify that what they are asking for is legitimate. Never give out personal information. Rather make another arranger to give your personal information rather not give it through a website, especially if it's credit card numbers or bank details. Use anti-malware software. There is software that's available that can help detect if you are being attacked by a phishing attack. They can scan your email and see that it's coming from the right people and also to prevent you from going to websites that have been flagged. There's a lovely website called www.phishing.org that has lots of details about phishing attacks. It's a really good website. I really encourage you to go to have a look at it. There's some details about it, some phishing security tests. They give you some phishing 101, like the history of it, what are the techniques involved, the different types of phishing attacks, how to prevent, 10 ways to avoid. So lots of useful advice and resources on this page. I would recommend that everyone has a look at it because being aware of phishing attacks will help you to not become a victim of a phishing attack. More tips on how to be safe on the internet will be posted on our Computer Terms channel, so make sure you click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss our next couple of videos. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.